Chris Marie and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I figured to slow it down with all the greasy food, the fried goodies. I mean, it's not that greasy, but again, it's not that healthy. So I figured today, why not make cauliflower bites? Now, a little bit of this part is still kind of unhealthy, but... <laughs> This is definitely better than what we've been making. And I wanted to show you guys that not everything is fried, not everything is sweet. This is something I've made before on my Snapchat. A lot of you guys requested how did I make it. I gave you guys some tips here and there, but I'm gonna go ahead and break this video down for you guys how I make my cauliflower bites. Now when it comes to this recipe, I also make this as a chicken sandwich. This is the same recipe you can do for a cauliflower chicken sandwich, for cauliflower bites, nuggets, mushrooms, anything you can do. This exact thing I'm about to show you guys how I do. So if you guys may or may not remember, some of you on here on YouTube probably don't remember, but I was vegetarian a few weeks back. Um, I did it for actually a good month or so. Um, and then I just started eating meat again. It had nothing to do with anything. I just wanted to try it out and it was pretty awesome. And cauliflower was something that I was really into. However, you do wanna be careful. I just wanna throw this in there. Be careful, cauliflower is still considered a carb and I didn't know this. So <laughs> just wanna give you guys a little heads up. Um, anyone who's watching their carb intake, cauliflower is considered a carb. I will be using flour and breadcrumbs in this recipe. You do not have to, you can just roast them regular and still do it how I'm going to do it. But again, this is how I make them. So you guys, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I do videos on recipes, vlogging, pretty much everything, mommy life, whatever you want to call it. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if there's something else that I should know that you may try with cauliflower. And also hit that bell up top. So you're always notified when I post because per usual, I don't have a set day on when I post. That is my daughter and we are going to get started with this video, guys. Hey guys, so I know this is kind of weird. I'm in my bathroom. Um, it's kind of like late at night. It's like 11 o'clock at night. Um, I just showered. My eyes are red. But um, so you guys know I pre-record and I'm editing this video as we speak as my daughter is knocked out on my bed. Um, and I've been wanting to shout out a few things I actually been wanting to say on these videos, but like I said, I pre-record my videos, so I haven't been able to do um, exactly that. So I just wanted to edit this in here um, before we start the video. So there's three channels that I've been really wanting to shout out and um, express my gratitude with them as well. One of them, I'm looking at my tablet. <laughs> one of, and I will leave the links down um, to one of their videos so you can just click on it down below. One of them is Giants of Earth is my cousin. He actually just made the funniest freaking, not infomercial, but like a commercial. But um, so if you're really into like gym stuff and I mean, he makes funny videos too. If you're really into like workout stuff and um all that definitely go look at his channel he has some pretty good content and i'm excited to see more from him so mikey love you it's my cousin um again giants of earth i'll leave a link down below to his newest video that i'm talking about oh my god i watched that video like three times it's so funny um and yeah so you know it it helps out especially with this deployment it's, i have my ups and downs guys you know this and if I didn't say, I don't think I said it, sorry, it's late. Um, but these three channels, you know, these are my go-tos when I'm up late. If I'm not editing, I just need a good pick-me-up or laugh, definitely. And my cousin Mikey, and I'm not just saying this because family, my cousin Mikey's channel is really funny. Um, so definitely go down, you know, link down below. Another channel um, is going to be this couple. And they're called the Do the Joseph family. I'm so sorry for messing that up. The Joseph family. I'll leave a link down below. If you guys are into like pranks and reviews and challenges, 
definitely definitely go check their channel out beautiful family i can't express it enough um i love the fact that they're so supportive they've checked on me a few times here and there they've given me words of encouragement because you know guys let's be real we don't we don't ask for words of encouragement when we really want it and we need it and they're just such a humble and funny and beautiful family and i can't wait i'm so serious i cannot wait to um do a video with you guys um definitely when my husband gets back something in the works of a mukbang i think that'd be awesome but yes definitely definitely go check them out the joseph family i'll leave a link down below of their recent video as well and last but not least I love that my aunt just made her YouTube channel because this is like the smartest thing ever. Um, so if you're big into spirituality, astrology, blessings, cleansings, whatever you're into, she has it all. And it's called Café con Maria, which is Coffee with Maria. She does do an English version and a Spanish version for those of you that do not understand or speak Spanish. Um, there's a little bit of everything you can get from her. You know, I have a friend um, who is a little skeptical. I won't say her name because I don't want to call her out. She's a little skeptical. I had her watch a few of my aunt's videos on Facebook and YouTube, and she's like watching them all the time. So definitely, you guys, definitely, you know, I never judge people. I, I know she's my aunt, but like I never judge anyone when watching videos. I just try to, you know, see what they're about before I put my opinion out there, but um, you guys should definitely just see if it's for you or not. But Café con Maria, I'll leave a link down below. I mean, I, I can't express this enough. I grew up seeing what she does. She has so much background in this. So it's not like she's um just starting out and just into the spiritual, you know, beings and stuff. No, she's had so many experiences in this. And, you know, this is something you're getting for free, you guys. I can't express that enough because, like, she charges for stuff like this. And she's actually putting out little tips and things you could do to bless yourself, like a candle or, you know, like a healing that you might need. Um, maybe you're not into that. Maybe you just need to hear words of encouragement or something that you know that you're doing and you need to hear someone else say it because you're in denial. You know, it could be anything, but I'm telling you, Café con Maria is where it's at right now. Um, I love watching her videos, and sometimes we'll call each other right after, and I'm like, oh my god, Titi, like, it was so amazing, da, 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 da. but I'll leave a link down below to her most recent video as well. I'll leave this English version down below, um, but like I said, she does do Spanish, and she does do English, but I just wanted to come on here and shout these three channels out. And last but not least, I definitely want to shout out all of you, my subscribers. I noticed my subscribe count went up within like one week. That is crazy. I gained like 12 to 15 subscribers in one week. And this is all because of you guys. I just want to say thank you because I know it's a small number, but to me it makes a big difference. Again, I'm trying to deal with balancing being a mom for the first time, balancing deployment for the first time, and balancing balancing being alone for the holidays. Um, yes, I'm going to be alone for the holidays, but it is okay, you know, this is what we have to do, but um, I just wanted to tell you guys how much I appreciate you guys, you know, for sharing, liking, watching. It means the world to me, guys, and I think that is it. Again, I will leave the links down below. Don't forget to check out all those three channels, guys, and right back to the video we go. All right, guys, so starting with the star of the recipe here, a head of cauliflower. You definitely, definitely can try with the frozen bag of cauliflower. Um, the only thing with that is sometimes when it defrosts out, it gets a little mushy. So you want to be careful. Make sure you pat dry them if you're going to be using a frozen bag. However, I prefer the fresh kind. 
Now I'm just showing you all the seasonings I use. Of course, like I've said in previous videos, when it comes to seasoning, you pretty much can use whatever. However, I do highly recommend you guys try this because, you know, turmeric, why not? I know I showed a clip of a water bottle. It's just me letting you guys know you need water. So yes, you wanna go ahead and get all your seasonings. Lemon pepper is essential. You can use a regular lemon. I didn't have any, but the lemon pepper adds that added acidity to all the spices. Now we are doing barbecue here, but you definitely can try garlic parm. You can try teriyaki. You can try sweet sour chili. I mean, the options are pretty much endless, but um, the first one I've ever tried was buffalo and barbecue. So obviously we're doing barbecue today. So in our bowl, we're gonna add our flour, our breadcrumb. You can use seasoned breadcrumb, guys. Um, I just have the regular breadcrumb from when I did the, I can't even think straight guys, it's so late. Um, <laughs> when I did the eggplant, sorry. And if you haven't watched that video, go ahead and watch that now, guys. What are you waiting for? So we're just adding all of our seasonings to the bowl. Um, you know, pay attention to how many or how little you add as well. I will leave down below all the seasonings I ended up using, like I always say in all my videos. Um, and I will try to leave measurements, but obviously I don't measure, but I'll try to leave something along the lines for you guys. Now, when it came to me, used to make, um, when I used to make vegetarian, vegan food for me and my husband, I noticed a lot of the recipes I would look up used a lot of chili pepper, um, chili powder, turmeric and cumin and lemon pepper. Those were like the seasonings that were in all the recipes. So I figured, sorry guys, I just burped. <laughs> I figured, why not let me try this with the cauliflower? And let me tell you, it has not been the same ever since. This is my go-to seasoning, even for chicken. So in mixing the batter, guys, we are looking for a thick consistency. So you know, you can always add liquid too, you cannot take out. With that being said, you wanna add little by little, being very careful. And the reason why I'm adding very little, I mean, I could have added more, but I'm heavy handed. So if you're heavy handed like me, just be patient and add little by little because you know, the next thing you know, you're gonna have soupy, 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 batter and that's not what we're looking for we're looking for a thick batter almost like if you're making a corn dog if that makes sense and if you've never made a corn dog before then um a thick batter <laughs> so we're gonna mix that thorough and also pay attention to mixing out any of the clumps but remember there are breadcrumb in there so it may look like there's clumps in there and there really isn't um, I did that mistake thinking that there was clumps and I overmixed a little, but you know, it's okay. So once you find that thickness that you like, go ahead and put that away. We're going to start by ripping off, I don't know what the term is, the stems, I guess you can say, off the back of the cauliflower. And this is just going to help make it easier to cut through. And I cut that big stem off in the back and all that is going to the trash we're not eating this we're not cooking this we're not looking at this guys it is non-existent so just push it to the side now there's multiple ways that you can cut the cauliflower um i just do it like this i cut it right down the middle and then i try to get the rest of that stem out by cutting either square or triangular and it just makes it easier when breaking the cauliflower pieces. And as you can see there, you can leave the piece just like that if you wanted big nugget size, or you can cut those in half. So here I am just breaking apart. There's still pieces of stem left. Um, I will take care of that in just a sec. But you wanna go ahead and break all your cauliflower pieces. And like I said, you can leave them bigger or you can cut them in half. 
Um, I've also did the same exact recipe and fried them instead of baked them. I know here we're going to be baking these, but you definitely can fry them. That's why the batter has to be thick and you can dredge them in flour after. I would definitely leave these pieces bigger, but because we are going in the oven, guys, we're going to cut some of these pieces. So you want to go ahead and break the other half of the cauliflower. If, if it's just you, you can definitely put that other cauliflower back in the fridge. But if you are eating with your mom like I was this night, then you want to cut the other side. Um, I've also made chicken patties out of this, which is awesome. Maybe I'll do a video for you guys there too. So you want to go ahead and throw them in the bowl and make sure they are very saturated and coated all the crevices um, this part just watching right now it bothers me because I usually just go in with my clean hands guys and get dirty and mix it all in but um I think I was just trying to be nice to those who don't like seeing that on videos but yes make sure that you get that product <laughs> that product that mixture everywhere all into the insides, the crevices, the corners, any way you can. And then you just want to let it sit for a little bit because you want to let that bind to your cauliflower. This is a game changer right here. Make sure you spray your pans down unless you have parchment paper. If you do not, it will stick. I assure you, it will stick. Okay, guys. Another thing I forgot to mention, when rinsing off your cauliflower, make sure you go ahead and pat dry it. You want to get all the moisture gone because then this mixture will not stick. So here I'm just making sure all the pieces are coated good, checking one by one if I need to mix it more in or add more mixture on it, I'm going to go ahead and do so. So now we're going to go ahead and pop these in the oven, make sure they're all the way centered in there, and we have it on 400, and we're going to go ahead and put it for 25 minutes. I forgot, guys. All right, so when they are done, you want to go ahead and dip them in the sauce of your choosing. Because we're doing barbecue, this is how I do it. I go ahead and brush it on because, again, cauliflower has all these weird shapes and crevices. And I want to make sure that everything has a good bite to it. Now, if you were doing garlic parm, you would throw it in a bowl with melted butter, garlic, parsley, and sprinkle Parmesan cheese. Mix it up and throw it back in the oven. But since we're doing a sauce, this is how we do it. You definitely can... Brush it on the top, but then you run into that um, mistake of not having it all around. So because they're hot, I'm just sticking a fork through and brushing the barbecue sauce on, making sure everything is coated good. These look so good. Now, once these are done, you want to make sure that you pop these back in the oven, guys. And you can hit it with a broil. You can leave it on the regular heat that you want. However, I like to hit it on high broil. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. And you can literally put it in for 5 to 10 minutes depending on your oven. And just keep an eye on it. I mean, you can probably hear it as well sizzling. Um, don't burn your house down, guys. All right, guys, so we have finished the cauliflower bites. They look so yummy. Look at them right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. I also went ahead and made some little um, romaine lettuce wraps with just sauteed chicken and onions. I don't feel like I needed to show you guys um, that recipe, but I let these sit for a little bit of two minutes or so before serving, and they are absolutely delicious, so let's go ahead and try them. Get that the bottom came off a little bit, but it's okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. These are so good. I know it's missing. Got my ranch, Maryland. 
I know you're watching this. Oh my god. These never get old. They always taste so good. Mm hmm. <laughs> and the wraps. Ooh. I didn't make this in the video, but I'll eat it on camera. Why not, right? lipstick got right there <laughs> well i hope you guys enjoyed this video again like i said already in my voiceover this is a perfect way to introduce yourself to vegetables if you do not like vegetables but you do like barbecue then this is the way to go you can also do this in multiple flavors i've done this in buffalo i've done this in garlic parm which is my absolute favorite you can fry these i prefer these in the oven but if you want more of a crispy chicken taste, if you are craving chicken and you are currently vegetarian, then this is the way to go. Um, again, you just want to be careful with your carb intake because cauliflower is a carb, flour is a carb, and breadcrumb is a carb. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Definitely give this a try. It's so, so good. It's so easy. It's so simple. It's very inexpensive. You probably have everything at home but the cauliflower head. And yeah, I mean, why not give this a try? It's so good. Marilyn, again, if you're watching, you better try this because if you come visit me, I'm gonna trick you into eating this. All right, guys, so make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that Ooh. notification bell so you know every time I post. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.